okay so in this video we are going to see how to move the object by using the keyboard shortcut mechanism instead of using the tool which we have seen in the previous video so in this case our this box selection tool should be enabled or the, this one should be there in by default no other tool should be selected so with our required object selected fine the shortcut key for initializing the move tool is g how to remember it g is for grab fine so first you select the object then you grab it once you will press g the object is grabbed and then you can decide the movement of the object fine so here arbitrary movement will be automatically enabled as soon as you press g you will notice the selected object has a white outline and as you move the mouse your object will move along with it fine once you click somewhere the operation is completed or if i press ctrl z let us say or let it be there i will press grab and move my mouse if i now press escape or any other mouse key let's say right key or middle key the operation gets cancelled fine so the effect of the tool remains till you complete the operation or you cancel the operation so here again let's click on the object press g grab and move the object you can obviously see the changes here in the location box of our property section how it is moving now this is an arbitrary movement that is taking place for the object now second thing that we can do is let us place the object back to 000, zero, zero and let's also keep this into practice that we can use this for setting the precise location of our object so we have set it back to here now let us say i wanted to move my object in x direction so the shortcut mechanism obviously would be select the object grab it and next you press the key representing the axis so x axis y axis or z axis so if i wanted to move it on z axis i'll simply press z now if you move your mouse your object will move in z axis only okay complete the operation wherever you want again grab press x it will move in the x axis complete your operation or cancel as per your requirement finally again let's try for y axis click on grab press y and now you can move your object in y axis this way i can move my object in x y and z axis by using the keyboard shortcut fine every time i have to start the operation the selected with the selected object i just have to press g and x y z as per my requirement and i can move this can i do it with other objects yes here is the light i grab you can see it's turned white over there i press x over here and i can move it in the x direction so this way i can move the objects using the keyboard shortcut as i had mentioned earlier this is my preference i find it faster to work with the keyboard shortcuts now the next thing which we had seen was that we could move our object in two directions except for one which we had used in the tool so we can achieve the same in this also by obviously grabbing your object first now if i want the movement on x and y so what i am going to do is i will press shift z so which means except z move in other direction so here uh, since the arrows will not appear you will have to observe in the properties box now i'm going to press shift z and you can see the visible ones which have appeared is where my object can move and if you see that properties box z is fixed and my object is now moving around in x and y directions similarly i can say grab shift x so x becomes fixed and i can move my object in y and z direction and finally let's try with grab shift of y here i can move in two different directions that is x and z but y is locked over here y is not changing now in the 3d view it looks a bit weird but if you note as you can notice it from the property section the changes are only happening in these two directions fine so this way we can move our objects with the keyboard shortcut grab and in most of the cases 
you will notice that I will be using the grab movement for our work. Now there is another possibility if you don't want to use the mouse, if you grab and use arrow keys, then also you can move your object in the directions. Now if I'm move, moving it with the arrow keys, see the movement is a bit erratic, it's not fixed, it's just moving around in x, y, z with some random mechanism. This I'm using the arrow keys. Now if we fix some axis, so it's not necessary that you have to set the axis immediately. If I press X, I'm already in grab mode, it will get fixed to X axis. Now using the arrow keys will move it in X and Y only, fine. What if I change it in between press Y, let us see what happens. It starts moving in Y and it, if I press Z, it moves in Z. But you will have to complete your operation for one of these and do it again. So you can move it with arrow keys also or maybe the last certain small amount of setting you can do with the arrow keys.